Hey guys, welcome back. In this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to set up a sensor that is BME280. In the previous videos, we have seen working of different digital sensors. This is our sensor, as you can see, it's a temperature, humidity, and pressure sensor BME280. Now, let's move on to our website that is controleverything.com and here, search in for this sensor which we will set up. So it's a digital humidity plus minus 3% RH pressure and temperature sensor and these are it's some of its features which you are able to see. You can purchase this sensor from here. Further I will be showing the interfacing of this sensor with the Raspberry Pi and for that I require a code that is a Java code. So go to resource tab and this is the Java code we are looking for it. Click over the Java code. And you can download the Java code as a zip file from here. Click on this and you will be guided towards. You can also have the code from our GitHub repository that is Control Everything Community, which is our official repository. You can download it from there also. So there are two ways to get the code, and your choice is yours. Now, to set up the sensor, we need hardware, accessories, and let's have a look over it. Well, this is our sensor that is humidity, pressure and temperature sensor BME280 which we are going to be setting up. In addition to this, we need a Raspberry Pi. Now to provide the solution of connection among the sensor and the Pi and to further make it easy, we need an I2C sheet or adapter. This adapter is available on our website controleverything.com and gently make the connection of the adapter and place it over the GPI pins of the Raspberry Pi. Now the binding factor for the shield and the sensor is this a connecting cable. Make the connection of the sensor and the cable and while making this connection please make sure that the brown wire of the cable should be connected to the ground terminal of the sensor and same fundamental goes for the I2C shield. So it looked like this. Next, we need to power up our Pi and here comes a micro USB cable into the picture. Insert it up in the power jack. Now to connect the Raspberry Pi setup with the internet, there are two ways. First of all, this is an ethernet cable. Gently insert it over the ethernet jack. In case, uh, if it's not available, you can also use a wireless nano USB adapter which might come in handy and it will save your day. So this is the final setup we require for our interfacing of our sensor. So now we have done the setup for hardware required for the interfacing. The next thing we want to do is to interface the sensor with the Java code. And for that, visit the website and log in to github.com. And this is the repository, control everything community. It's the official repository for control everything.com. And here searching for VME. 280 that is the required sensor and here it comes it's a digital humidity pressure sensor this is the java code let's have a look over the instruction first we have to download and install pi 4j library on the raspberry pi and this is the link which will help us to install let's have a look over this link first as you can see pi 4j installation all the required installation steps dependencies and everything is being explained clearly in this link you can download and install the pi 4j on the pi now get back to the code and this is the java code we require it's a dot java file the first thing you notice that we have imported the required libraries uh, from the pi 4 j library which will help us to set up our code next we have uh, our public class that is bme280 we have bus dot get device which will help us to get our device address that is 0x76 now coming to the reading section part we have read 24 bytes of data from the address 0x88. This is the command for that. And similarly, after reading the data, we have converted the data. First of all, we have temperature coefficients. Then we have our pressure coefficients. And the last, we have our humidity coefficients as you can see. So these are being read and converted according to the procedure we have to follow for the data sheet that is of BME280. Now we have to set up the device. For that we have to send some commands and this is the writing section. 
first of all we have selected control humidity register that is 0x f2 and humidity oversampling rate is equal to 1 that goes for 0x01 0 0 writing section is here now we have selected control measurement register having address 0x f4 the command we send is the normal mode temperature and pressure oversampling rate equal to 1 goes for 0x27 writing path is here at last we have selected configuration register and the standby time is 1000 ms and this is the configuration register this is the command for standby time and this is the writing command so we are done with the setup part for the writing section now we are reading the data uh, we have read 8 bytes of data from address 0x f7 pressure temperature and humidity data this is the command for that now as you can see uh, we have read data and it's a it will pull a new data every time which we can process it process it and see our values so after all this is the conversion data for pressure and temperature this is the temperature offset calculations humidity data conversion is here so pressure offset calculations humidity offset calculations these are all according to the formulas or the procedures which are being provided clearly in the data sheet for PME 280. Now at the very end of our code we have to format the results and the output data on the screen. So we have temperature in Celsius, Fahrenheit, uh, pressure in hectopascal, relative humidity in percentage RH and we have corrected the data up to two places of decimal uh, float format. So this is how a code look like this. Now we have a code we can call through and have our values. It's a very simple and generalized code which you can have and set up the device. Now the summary of the code is very simple as you can see importation of some of the libraries here we have defined the address. This is a reading part of the coefficients of pressure, temperature, humidity data. Writing section set up the device, reading of the data for pressure, temperature, humidity and at the very end we have our printed output values so this is how the code look like now let's have a look over the working of this code with a Raspberry Pi and Java now let's have a look over the working for this code and provide a code better rule so copy this entire code and open up the terminal for the Pi here create a new file with dot Java extension as you can see and paste the entire code and now save it now this is the command to compile the code as you can see and the code is being compiled it might take a while and it's done now this is the command to run the code and here we go and as you can see the temperature in celsius temperature and pressure now again i run the command and the results are there now when I press my finger over the sensor and run the command as you can see there is a change in temperature, pressure and relative humidity. Now again pressing the finger and running the command as you can see there is a slight change in temperature, pressure and relative humidity for the sensor BME 280. We can have another reading for that. So this is how a Java code works with the Raspberry Pi for the sensor BME 280. Now let's proceed further and see what are the features or applications for this sensor we will require. So far now we have seen the setup, the hardware and the working of the sensor BME 280. The BME 280 is as combined digital humidity, pressure and temperature sensor based on proven sensing principles. The BME 280 achieves high performance in all applications requiring humidity and pressure measurement. These emerging applications of home automation control, indoor navigation, healthcare, as well as GPS refinement require a high accuracy and a low TCO at the same time. The humidity sensor provides an extremely fast response for fast context, awareness applications and high overall accuracy over a wide temperature range. This product can be purchased from very website of controleverything.com and the required code is available on the resource tab as I shown you earlier. You can download the code from our GitHub repository that is control everything community. So 
I have shown you a uh, easy way to get it set up this sensor BME 288 is working and its applications uh, I would make it clear in case you are in a kind of thought that uh, you are left without fully understanding so for that if you have further queries if you want to contact me contact me on control everything.com and be sure to post your comments your queries on our community page which is shown here now if you want to look over the articles blogs of these videos you can check us on instructables.com and for more video tutorials you can subscribe our youtube channel i hope you found this video useful and i have more videos coming on my way till then you enjoy yourself and have a nice day thanks for watching